Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to take you with me and I'm going to tell you some filmmaker jokes. So stay tuned for that. Let's go. Okay, so what do you call a filmmaker who likes to go camping during a pandemic? Tentin Quarantino. But which famous American filmmaker lived in a safe? You're right, Walt Disney. And what does a female filmmaker look for in a guy? His aspect ratio. Oh my god, I doubt that. Now, speaking of female filmmakers, what do you call an all-female team of film editors? The Splice Girls. Now, I've always been wondering why the Star Wars films go 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9. But I just recently discovered that in charge of scheduling, Yoda was. Oh god, guys. We recently hired a new set designer at our film company, but he got fired shortly after for making a scene. Oh, it's really beautiful here, which is why I'm going to take the time and read one joke to you, because I can't remember it, because it's too long. So Arnold Schwarzenegger and his friends are acting in a short film about classical pianists and musicians. One of the friends says, I'll be Beethoven. Another one says, I'll be Mozart. In the end, Arnold says, I'll be back. Now I'm back with another joke. This one is shorter so I can remember it. What do filmmakers use and IT people hate? A blue screen. A clever Russian filmmaker is planning on making a new streaming service just for banned movies. He's going to call it Netflix. So there actually is a reason why Daniel Craig has gray hair in the new James Bond movie and you know it's because he's got no time to die. So did you know that the CIA actually hired Stanley Kubrick to fake the moon landings? He was just such a perfectionist that he made them film on location. Are you guys also just so excited for Liam Neeson's new film where he rescues the wrong woman? It's called Mistaken. You know what, while I'm here I might as well just read the other Liam Neeson joke that I got. Um, it goes, can't wait to see Liam Neeson's new film, taken out of context. That one wasn't that good. So Rick Astley actually came to my house the other day asking for some films for his kids. I said, sure, you can have Lion King, Cinderella, but I'm never gonna give you up. What starts with P, ends with Orn, and plays a major role in the film industry? Popcorn. I'm such a big fan of indie films, especially Raiders of the Lost Ark. So this almost last one is a bit controversial, so viewer discretion is advised. You know, a lot of droids are lately coming out that they were actually molested by George Lucas during the filming of Star Wars. Hashtag R2 Me Too. There we go. That was quite a nice walk, actually. I hope you enjoyed it. Here we go with the last joke. How do you call someone that edits in Premiere Pro? You call him a f That's it from this video. Those were 22 jokes. I really googled a lot to find somewhat funny jokes. Like... There are so many unfunny jokes about filmmakers on the internet, you can't even imagine. I read over 100 jokes and those were the best ones that I found, actually. And that last one was made up by me. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Use Final Cut to cut your videos. I don't, I'm just kidding. No hate to Premiere Pro users. They probably just don't know that they're f I'm just kidding. Anyways, subscribe. You can find more videos right here, right here. You can subscribe right here and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Oh my god, it's so warm. <sighs> I'm gonna take a shower for the third time today. Fucking moron.